Hello and welcome to another episode of Lord Spud Shorts. In this screencast we're going to have a look at Mac Journal from Dan Schmidt Software. It's a journaling application that lets you keep your thoughts and sort of what's going on in your life in one easy place. There's a web page, it's homepage.mac.com slash dschmidt, that's uh, D-S-C-H-I-M-P-F and you can download a trial from there. Uh, let's get it open. The first time you open Mac Journal, you're presented with a new journal and an entry inside that journal. In this case, welcome to Mac Journal, telling you a little bit about it. To create a new entry, click new entry on the toolbar, um, just pretty much like any sort of standard OS X program. Uh, and then you get a little thing of what's new, so it's new interface built for Leopard, um, add PDFs, QuickTime movies and so on and so forth. Right, so we'll start by adding a new journal. So to do that, to do that, it's File New Journal or Shift Command N. So I'm just going to press that on the keyboard now. It will ask me to name the journal, so I'm going to call this. And in this journal, I'm going to put all things that relate to work. Now, as I said earlier, there's already a new journal, which is called New Journal One. We're going to click on that and then right click and we're going to rename. I'm going to call that my home journal. And in there is the welcome journal. And I'm going to delete that. And it's going to say delete entry, welcome to Mac journal and all its contents. Uh, you can choose by ticking this, not to share this message again, but I like to be warned. So I'm going to untick that and delete it. Now I've got two journals. Um, my home and my work journal, the disclosure triangle at the side and the number of entries and if we see we've got naught. So I'm going to enter a entry in the past. As you can see here it's highlighted today's date. That's the 13th of September 2010. Now I'm going to click on the first and it automatically has created a journal entry for 1st of September 2010 at the current time. I'm just going to fill some details in, starting with the topic. As you can see, I the topic was had pizza at Moe's and the content was must go again, it was the best pizza. Um, I'll add the address. So now we have an entry, uh, one entry. We can click the disclosure triangle, which will hide it. And the number shows one there for one entry. Look at it and it's had pizza at Moe's. Must go again, it's got the date. I'm now going to do the same for the work journal, except I'm going to pick the future. So in this case, uh, tomorrow. Give it a date, so 14th of September. Now, as you can see, I've not given it a topic, so it has the date. Uh, meeting with Jones, must not forget to bring iPad. No topic. So I can see automatically by looking at it what date it was created. You can also see the date. If you click on the journal, you'll have the name. In this case, it's the name of the date that I clicked on, the date and the journal it's in. So if I go in that, and we'll now type the actual topic. By clicking on work journal, I can see I've got one entry, meeting with HR, and I've got the date. I'm just going to drag that over, holding the mouse down when the icons appear. You can see meeting with HR date and the journal it's in. I'm just going to add a few more entries now. So I've added a few entries as we can see um, night out with the wife and in the home journal and a couple of other entries in my work journal. Now as you may remember from the start it also supports importing files such as PDF so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab a PDF here and it comes in imported files and it looks just like the PDF. Now it's automatically created this new journal. The same thing will happen if I take this meeting with HR, um, sorry, if I take this trouble with the builders and drag it down here, it'll have a dragged entries journal. I'm going to put that back by selecting it, left click, and then holding and dragging it back into work journal. And I'm going to right click and delete the dragged entries journal. 
importing PDFs and other files is simple. We can drag the RTF in. And it's created a new import of files journal. I'm not particularly happy with that, so we'll drag it into there. And we'll do the same with this PNG. Now that time I dragged it and dropped it specifically on the imported files and it put it in there. So let's just delete that one. I'll show you that again. In this case we'll take this picture here and we'll drag it. Now this is a keynote file. It doesn't know what to do with it internally but it does know what it is. So you can just click on it and click to open in Keynote and if I click that it will open it in Keynote just like mail uh, you can have smart journals so um, any topic contains um, builders so as you can see in this case it's put the trouble with builders and if I was to create a new entry you call this it's automatically put it in already you can lock a journal to do that go to the journal menu and select lock journal or press Apple L and it'll ask you to enter a new password this journal is locked as you can see the others aren't locked so if you wanted to keep anything secret you put it in here I'm going to unlock it you can also encrypt the data it's now encrypted to be doubly private and that's a very simple overview of Mac Journal a generally an application for OS 10 my name's Marcus Boyce thank you for watching Lord Spud Shorts